This is spice cashmere rack of lamb and it's fantastic to make at any special occasion. So Diwali is perfect and that's Indian Christmas. The first thing I need to do is make my marinade. Put in a couple of tablespoons of yogurt. Yogurt's great to marinade because it actually breaks down the proteins in the meat. So it actually makes it a lot more tender and it helps the marinade stick to the actual meat. We're gonna be using Patak Drogan Josh paste. Fantastic to use with meat because it's traditionally actually made only with lamb. Need quite a lot of paste because we are cooking for about four to six people. Into that I'm also going to put in a little bit of black pepper and also just a little bit of oil just to help it along. And then I just need to add some mint sauce. An interesting ingredient to add but you'll see it adds a very nice flavour and mint works great with lamb. Need to give that a really good mix together and then it's the fun part, actually marinating the lamb. Now I've got a rack of lamb, a full rack of lamb, which gives you seven lamb chops and I've actually just asked my butcher to take the fat away from the bones and you're literally just going to smear the lamb with the marinade. Make sure you use all the marinade that's in your bowl because it'll just be perfect when you want to actually baste it halfway through cooking. That's great, that's marinated perfectly. And then I'm going to pop this in the oven, but I don't want it to burn, so I'm just going to cover it with foil. And then halfway through, I'll check in. If I want to take the foil off, I can do that later. So while that's in the oven, I need to make the garnish for this recipe. I've got a potato, I've peeled it, I've actually grated it as well, and I've soaked it in water with a pinch of salt, squeezed out all the moisture, and then I just need to deep fry it. I'm using vegetable oil, purely because it's actually a very good oil to use. You won't want to use olive oil in this recipe. It absorbs too much flavour. They've now turned golden brown, so I'm just going to take these out and actually drain them on absorbent paper. I also want to make my onions, which is part of my garnish. And it's the same thing. I've peeled an onion, I've sliced it, and I'm just going to deep fry those. Same oil, you can use the same oil, that's absolutely fine. When they turn golden brown, just take them out of the oil and just place them in the same place that you actually put your grated potato. They'll just drain together. I'm just going to pop this to one side and I'm going to go and get my lamb. Now that's been in there for about 35 minutes. I've taken it out halfway through. I've just basted some more marinade on there. If you prefer your lamb a little bit more well done, just leave it in there for an extra 10 minutes. I'm going to leave my lamb to rest for about 10 minutes or so and I'm just going to make my raita in the meantime. I've got some more yoghurt and into that I just need to add some fresh ingredients. So I've got some red onion, just finely chopped. I've also got some lovely pomegranate. Now pomegranate is a fantastic ingredient to use. It's very, very sweet, has lovely texture. Some roasted cumin seeds. I've dry roasted these, so just put a frying pan on the hob and just put your cumin seeds right in there. And when they start changing colour and have a bit of an aroma, you just grind them in your pestle and mortar. I'm also going to put in a green chilli. Depends how fiery you like your dishes. I like mine quite fiery, so I'm going to leave the seeds in. I'm also going to put in some fresh mint. I want this to be quite a nice, vibrant dish. The fresh mint will add lovely colour and it will also make everything taste really, really, really zesty. And I'm just going to mix that up. Final thing we need to do to this dish is actually make the tempering. The tempering is just some lovely cumin seeds in oil and also I'm going to fry some sliced garlic in there. So I've already got a pan with oil on. Put a few cumin seeds in there. They're going to start sizzling. And then I just need to put in a few teaspoons of sliced garlic. Just make sure everything's ready chopped before you start putting your oil on. Otherwise things might get a little bit hot. My garlic's turned golden brown, that's perfect. Just turn the heat off and we're now ready to actually plate up. Take the foil off your rack of lamb and pop it onto your plate that you're going to be serving it on. Pour over with all the oil this tempering. Garnish with some of the fried potato and onions, which you fried earlier. And then on the side, serve it with a cool pomegranate and red onion raita.
This tastes great if you serve it with naan bread as well as more of a main meal or some Bombay potatoes taste fantastic with this. And there you have it, Kashmiri Rakha Blanc.